It is officially the weekend. Let's get ready to game. But before we do, let's take a look at what we've got in store for you this week on Sadie's TV. So today on Sadie's TV, we're going to take you on a ride through our Call of Duty Modern Warfare beta experience this past weekend. We're also going to talk about the Spell and Pro and its patented Bon Jovi DPS. And we're also going to talk about how to avoid stripping your bolts, putting together the Alpha Gaming Table. All right, so the weekend is officially here, and hopefully most of you are enjoying some much-deserved time off. I'd like to start by thanking you for spending some of that time with us here on Sadie's TV. Today we're starting it off with the Alpha Gaming Table, and why using a drill is a great yet horrible idea for those that aren't quite handy. So this is the Alpha, it's our first manufactured gaming table, equipped with all the bells and whistles to keep your setup organized and clean. We've actually thought of a bunch of unique ways to allow for cable management while keeping everything compact, leaving space for your monitor and com well, computer. If you own one of those... Um, you might want to make some creative adjustments for your setup. <laughs> Ultra wide life. Ultra wide life. <laughs> now, as far as building the table goes, it's a pretty seamless process. You've got an instruction manual with assorted bolts and nuts, and the process is really only going to take you about an average of 30 to 60 minutes. Maybe an hour to an hour and 20 for novice furniture builders. But if you've put together a few of those bad boys from your local imported European furniture store, you'll do just fine. Now for those looking to streamline the process more efficiently, a power drill will most certainly help expedite the process. But one of the things I want to warn you early and often is that using a drill should only be used to get the bolts onto their joints. Hammering down the trigger is only going to further complicate things for you as bolts like this are intended for use with the provided allen key or hex tool. Please ensure that you are stopping halfway down to allow for hand tightening, especially on the legs. These are adjustable legs, so risking stripping them before having used the table or measuring your gaming chair might not be the best move. Patience is everything. So we want to make sure that you're able to set up your desk in a proper manner that's not only going to add to its durability for years to come, but also to keep you from making mistakes we've seen in the past. Now, if you've been following the gaming news over the last two weeks, Call of Duty graced us with its presence this past weekend. Offering game modes such as Team Deathmatch, Domination, Ground War, which was built to accommodate large-scale 32v32 battles, and of course, the newcomers such as Gunfight, Cyber Attack, and my new favorite, Night Vision modes. Testing the game out of the gate, I found the beta to be extremely well optimized. Frame rates rarely saw any kind of drops. The gunplay felt extremely refined from previous Call of Duty offerings while keeping it fresh all across the board. Listen, I don't normally get max level hype when it comes to the sound because it's usually pretty damn good out of the gate, but Infinity Ward, you guys took it to another level. I felt so immersed in every gun battle that it literally made me feel like I was in the game. Now, I know a lot of people say this with games, but you, you've just got to try it for yourself and trust us on this one. Crossplay was probably the biggest surprise for me. I mean, we knew it was coming, but we didn't know how well it was going to work, and it worked out really well. Lobbies were stacked and packed in, in a matter of seconds, full queued games, very, very few instances and issues with any sort of lag in game, which I thought was going to be an absolute networking nightmare. Um, obviously, Infinity Ward came prepared for a battle with this game, and it shows right out the gate in its early beta stage. Now those that are sensitive to more mature subject, I would caution that with the console versus PC lobbies, it can get downright outrageous off the bat, with some choice words being used on both sides. Luckily that can all be handled with a few clutch options in the menu, such as toggling crossplay on and off, as well as muting an entire lobby. While this might not be an option for those playing on console during a random queue, this could actually work out really well for those that are already in an existing party with native Xbox or PlayStation 4 party chats, or even PC players that are using Discord or TeamSpeak. Now, minus the few minor bugs that we encountered over the four day period, I will say this is absolutely a leap forward for Infinity Ward and Activision. I'm really excited to see where this all lands post launch. Now let's backpedal the conversation to communications. I want to take words like communications, voice chat, 
team play, clarity, sound, and literally sum it all up into two words. Spell and Pro. This has been our flagship headset designed with the help of Bon Jovi Acoustics. And no, not, not Bon Jovi the singer. I'm talking about Bon Jovi. The company behind some of the neatest technology out there today, including speakerless sound through Honda Aviation, healthcare applications, and Power Station Studios. You know, the studio that helped put together some of the greatest albums ever, including, you know, John Mayer's work, Lady Gaga, Bruce Springsteen, the, the list goes on. We approached Bon Jovi to collaborate with us here at Sadie's, not only to work on a DPS that would work with gaming, but something that really opened up the dynamics of both sound quality in-game and also those voice communications. Their patented tech was then implemented into a joint project being the Spell & Pro with some stellar sound output and a wicked tight bass response. It's also worth mentioning that the Spell & Pro has two levels of vibration that can be controlled directly from the inline remote. And no, 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 it does not sound like a muddied up fluttering explosion to the ears. It dials in the right frequencies to give you a clean, clear sound. And I mean it, you know, it also keeps those lows thumping because base. Uh. So try out the Spell & Pro today by clicking the link in the description and save 20% from October 1st through 25th as a special incentive for those looking to try something special. Now for my console gamers, no this headset will not work on your Nintendo Switch, it will not work on your Xbox One, but we've got something for you as well. If you're watching through our videos over the last couple weeks, we actually uploaded a video on the M-Power, which is a multi-platform headset, supports things such as mobile, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PC, and of course your tablets. We'll leave a second link down below for you guys as well to one, check out that video, and two, get yourself 20% off. And that, my friends, is everything we've got in store for you and online this weekend. Until next time, I'm Mikey from Sadie's TV standing by, growing together with gamers.